in around five minutes, I will show you the most useful tips and tricks for beginners inside Blender 2.8. So the first useful trick, let's see what we have if we have ad added a cube, and this cube will be here inside the center. So to hide this cube, you will can say H, and to unhide, you can say Alt H. And let's see what we have here if we have multiple meshes and spheres, and let's scale So uh, assume that you have all these, you can select both and hide, and you can select only this cube and shift H to isolate this and unhide or hide all other elements. So Control Alt Q make all these view, and again Control Alt Q uh, make this viewport. This is the top, this is the front, and this is the right. So again, what if we can split it? You can right click here and split area like this, and you can. Say that this is the viewport, and this is maybe the node which is here, shader editor. And you can go here and join this to be here. Assume that you want, if, uh, assume that you have added some add-ons which is maybe located there. So maybe you have added the loop tool which is here, and maybe you have added another node rectangular, uh, node rangular. And let's see how you can save it. You can go here and save, save current state. And if you have deleted all these elements, you can save now from here, save, start up file. Number four, let's see what we have here. We have an EV, and if you come here inside the sampling, you can, if you use cycles, you can use the GB Compute. GB Compute using your graphics card, and make sure that you have used this tile to uh, make it must faster, because the GPU must concentrate only on one fixed unit, you can go higher for this 500. Another thing with is how you can change your font size. You can go here from the edit preferences and from an interface you can go to two. As you can see, the font is much larger and you can go one or even smaller if you want. For me, I stick to 1.1. Number seven, how you can, let's see if we have added a material here, how you can add this material. If you have a material here, how you can this material simply by clicking this button. So uh, number eight, how you can add, adjust or add some mini materials. So uh, all the circle have one material, which is first material. And again, let's see uh, if we have second material. So uh, for all, we will select it to be a sign. And for the second, we'll we want assume that we want only to uh, deselect these faces. Uh, so we can assign it here. And uh, you can change all, all your materials. And if you want to make it more accurate, you can go to the viewport display and make this color to be like this. So what if we have added a camera and we want this camera to track this object, how we can make this? Simply you can go to the object constraint and track to which is maybe here and select this sphere and make sure that this arrow will be to be this arrow which may be located here. And if you move it, you will see that the camera doesn't match proper, uh, doesn't match correctly because up will be y and make sure that this 2 minus z. So if you come here, you can, you can, if you go here, g and y, you can see that it's correctly tracking your sphere. So what about the array modifier? Assume that you have an ad added an array here. 
we can go to add multiple array so count maybe like this and you can add multiple array like this and the y axis it will be 1.3 count will maybe 8 and in the z axis you will see that you can add an array which is 10 and this will be 0 and this will be will be 2 so we have this array so everything in blender can be animated so let's open our timeline which is maybe located i mean it can be located here where is the timeline we have outliner and you have also the timeline must be here so in uh, we have an end of 100 frame and you have start of one we will say that this value will be an animated so uh, in our first frame we will say it will be an one and in the final frame it will be an 12 and let's animate this so let's go here and uh, play as you can see it's now playing like this so finally assume that you have a circle let's delete all these files or you can go here and so uh, in previous lesson we have discussed the origin and this cursor so uh, let's see that we have an cube here and we want uh, to add the origin to uh, to be here so you can come in the vertex like this and make cursor selected and set origin to the 3d cursor and if you rotate you will see that it's rotating around this pivot point and uh, let's see what we have there we can how you can change the cursor in the series space you can shift right click you can 3d move your cursor in the this space such as this finally what about instance and faces so we will add another sphere which may be located here this sphere will be like this and assume that we have we have a cylinder which is here and let's say it will be 12 and firstly we will select the cylinder and select the sphere and control B keep transform and go to the sphere let's select this one and select the sphere select the cylinder and select the sphere and control B parent to object and select the sphere and go to object instance instance so you can go here and select faces and by default you will see that we have this one so we can increase it or you can apply the rotation and the scale apply the rotation and the scale let's see what we have and i think you now get the point we have this and you see that is that because we have the view must be larger such as this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you in the next video